Yo, up boys and girls, Skyrimians, I think you are called. No, I'm only joking. If you don't watch Skyrim, don't watch the video. If you do, watch the video. If you don't actually watch the video, who cares? Now, I am Quonky and I am bringing you the pro. That is such a bad start of a video ever if you want people to watch the video. But I am Quonky and I am doing the pros and cons of Skyrim. Now, I can't really give you many pros, but I will try to, and I will struggle, but I will give you the pros of Skyrim, but they're mainly outweighed by the cons because of the glitches in the game, but if you, I'm not speaking like I hate the game because I actually did really get into the game until glitches started to happen, which means I had to do, at the moment what I'm doing is I'm running about on Skyrim because the quest that I done three times and it's glitched three times just for me asked other people did it glitch and two people said yes the rest said no and I was like well I'm just the unlucky bastard that it managed to happen to three times because I am so unlucky I'm afraid I don't even play the lottery because I'm scared I'll waste a pound now on with the commentary what I'm doing is, is I'm basically walking there and while I'm walking there I'm gonna explain the pros and cons of Skyrim now the pros are it's amazing graphics oh my god I saw this game and I thought I'm gonna to have to get it to run it on my two GTX 580s to see what I managed to produce and I play this game in ultra everything high and ultra settings everything maxed out reflections on water you know everything on water I've basically had it maxed out it's, it runs smoothly at uh, 100 frames when you turn everything off for best performance and all that stuff and it runs beautifully but I normally play on 60 frames mainly because I can record on fraps which I have had problems with but I managed to sort that out I'm going to be bringing out a video on that but I can play this game on 60 frames record on 60 frames everything maxed out and things look amazing that is one pro to this game another pro is it's, it's, it's low storage like the capacity of the game is really low like compared to other games which have like basically like GTA. GTA when unpacked it's round about 14 of gig and that's such a big file when you think about it when you think what's on the game. Now Skyrim it is only single player but there's so much in the game it's packed full of stuff and it's packed full of maps and you know, stuff you can do there's so many hours you can pack into it that's another pro I guess but the game is roughly about 5.8 gigabytes I don't know whether that's exactly correct but it sank along the lines of 5.8 gigabytes which is absolutely amazing the designers obviously of the game done a great job in counting their polygons like the polygon count so it's mainly what adds up like to the structure of the game is polygon count now on with another pro it's all offline that can be a pro and a con but the fact that it's all offline and you don't need the internet which everybody who has this game probably has the internet anyway but when I don't have the internet I generally come away thinking like I'm a caveman when I don't have the internet I feel like I should rub two sticks together to make fire literally so playing this game when you don't have the internet is actually probably quite a good thing to do plus it's really relaxing which is another con pro actually it's another pro that it's really relaxing then so is Minecraft which is only like a 3 MB game but it's really relaxing and another pro is it has a great storyline which I've seen and there's lots of stuff to do which means it's well worth the money for value from what you're getting but it's like if you buy Battlefield 3 and you don't plan on playing multiplayer it's going to be really bad value for money because one you can complete the campaign in like a minute and it's really bad and two you know the campaign shit so it's not really good value for money unless you're playing on PC which Battlefield 3 is fucking amazing on PC which I've just played actually in a 64 player game and also there's crack servers which you can play in like 128 people play a game which is ridiculous it's 64 first 64 it's absolutely amazing anyway on with the pros and on with the cons now that is all the pros I can get with this game and the cons basically outweigh the pros in my case I'm nearly at the temple where the con comes into situation and the cons are mainly the game is really hard to get it's hard to get used to the game and hard to play the game
but also the main con is there's so many glitches which if you see Skyrim problems I've I've tried doing this four times well, three times sorry and this is the fourth attempt and it hasn't glitched so far but guaranteed the second time I go down to the other door it will say I've got to keep going back through it and back through it and back through it anyway boys I have been Quonky take it easy if you haven't subscribed already subscribe peace boys and girls